Hey guys, Rowan here with Awakening Animations and back with another 2.8 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to make something a bit more complex and we're going to use the high to low workflow or at least try to. We might use some sculpting. Anyway, this is what we're going to make today. I'm going to drag it into the screen and of course render is full of crap. Uh, how did I do this before? Maybe if I open this up and try again. There we go. I don't know what's wrong with Blender. Anyway, um, so one I'm going to have like this, and I'm going to have the exact same sorry, image here so that we can look at specific parts from close up. Okay. So this image here, I found it on Google, just typing furniture. Um, I'll provide the link so that you guys can get this exact same image. Uh, we don't have any other other perspectives, but we're going to tackle this guy one piece at a time. Okay, so the first part is quite basic, and we're going to keep it basic until we've got all the forms kind of there. Um, it seems like as well we'd only make one of these pillows here, and we'll end up having... Um, all of them and we'll make one of these as well one of these okay there is only one of those here it looks like it stops abruptly without any arms maybe we add an arm there since we're not creating this piece um, sorry I don't know if I mentioned that I'm not making it work in this sense here we going to cut out this part here, not have it, and just have a flat base there, like an L. So maybe we'll add this on that side too for some comfort to that person. <laughs> um, and yeah, so let's let's get cracking. We're going to start with this base kind of L. Um, and yeah, we won't take it past there. So our base is going to stop by this seam here and run across the back line like that. Okay, so that's quite a basic shape at first, um, and let's let's keep it basic. Let's use a plane for that. Um, so I'm not going to be using real world um, measurements for this. Um, it would be nice to actually, but um, what we can do is we can at least keep things quite square. So let's keep our base like this, and to do that, we're going to go in the front view. It's happening here front view and I want to move this and I'm holding control to increment snap let's rename this here okay so I was holding control to increment snap and that way um, we have this part so I'm looking at this piece as this one square here underneath the pillow okay so we know we want two of those um, before the kind of L where the L is going to start to happen. Um, so yeah, let's get that done. Let's um, grab an edge here and let's extrude it here. Hold Control, snap it twice. Now we've got two of those squares there, and now we're going to create this L. So. Um, we want a third square, of course, so extrude. We've got our third square, and we want one more square coming this way. So extrude one, two blocks, like that. Okay, so that's our base, like that. Just for that bottom piece. Um, quite easy, no problems with that. We've got the cords here. We can come from the front view, extrude it up, hold control again, and maybe... Yeah, let's keep it that high. Why not? And there we go. That's our first base piece completed. And what we can do almost immediately is grab a face here. So this one maybe, and Shift B. And a key, separate selection. Now we can grab this face here. And we just want to move it up ever so slightly, so GZ, holding shift, I'm just taking it a little bit up, not much, okay, and now we can get the thickness of this guy, so in edit mode, 
we just extrude this up and the three blocks look fine for now okay so there we go we've got our pushing area there and if you want to see this like live and stuff we could always alt D which does a link duplicate and using control snap it alt D using control to snap alt D again so that means when we grab this guy we actually work So yeah, it's quite um, confusing and stuff. So maybe we can move our link duplicates to a new collection that we'll just call linked so we don't get confused here. And that way we can easily hide that and not have that there. Okay, so um, sorry about that. Okay, so for our next piece here, we can start with this left side here. It's quite a simple piece. And yeah, let's get that going. So let's grab this face here, Shift D, drop it in place. Oop, no, I pressed O, I didn't mean to. Press it again. P, separate by selection. So we got this piece again. This time I'm gonna leave it hatching there, okay? And now I can go into edit mode and let's extrude this and bring it across. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, we might even take it another small block over. Why not? Okay. And it's sure that this is going to be more or less the cushion's height, something like that. And we could easily oops, I undid that you could easily take these vertices here and take them up respectively so this it's not a big curve so I'll just leave it like that for now it looks fine um, and yeah so that's good for this part and we can steal this piece and kind of use it for the back there um, but let's not let's just grab this section here so shift d again leave it in place I'm just repeating the same steps it's very basic um, we're gonna leave it there um yeah let's do the extrusion first so there. select everything extrude so this one is definitely not as thick as that so i'm gonna leave it there for now we want this face we're gonna move blah. what's happening here? We're gonna move this face up to that there, and that one's already lined up for us. So that's good. Now we just need to figure out the height here. So I'm gonna select these and from the right view I'm going um what are we seeing here? Okay, that's fine. So we're going to go up to this cushion here, like that, and then we've got quite a different shape happening here. The back is straight, so we're going to bring this up somewhere, so maybe something up to there, and it looks like it's this piece here that's coming forwards like that backwards actually so I'm not 100% sure this edge here might even be more down something like that to compensate for that pillow that needs to go in behind there but we'll figure that out when we get to that pillow we might as well get close to that now um, 
but yeah I'll show you guys what I mean so you see here we've got some kind of edge thing so I want to undo that for now we're going to see how that's working later on um, let's grab let's grab this face here because it's going to be more or less the width of that pillow um, actually it's going to be a bit thinner there's some squashing happening here with that pillow and this pillow so we're going to have to do that there at the end um, but yeah let's let's keep going so our next piece would be um, this pillow piece here and this back pillow so let's do the back pillow first shift B sorry I'm talking a bit back and forth here as well what happened here I don't think I separated it there we go so let's snap it to the back here. That's fine. Um, into edit mode. Extrude. And I want to come in a better view so I can snap it more accordingly. So I'm going to go with that for now. Okay. So we can take it up something like that. We can take this face, bring it down. To there maybe. And it's definitely not that wide, so we're going to Scale it in like that and bring it back. It doesn't need to be perfect here. We're going to be rotating this guy, and I'm going to do that now. Um, we can put the cursor here. And then we can set the origin to our 3D cursor, something like that. This way we can rotate this and kind of just line it up with the eye for now. It doesn't need to be perfect. And that way, transform, set it to local, and we should be able to just do that. And now we can kind of see our rotation fork. So Rotate it a bit again. So that should be fine for now. Um, and that gives us an idea of how things are going to be matching here. But it doesn't really matter because once they're all together, um, we'll make edits and stuff. So um, we can definitely just take this face and Just like that for now, that's fine, doesn't matter. And there we go, we've got the start of our pillar. I think, no, sorry, this one should still go a bit more up here. Okay, so that's perfect. And now we can do this little weird pillow here. So let's go back to selection mode. Let's go Shift B. Key selection. Okay, so with this one, we're just going to extrude it, but I want to go on the actual Z axis, so it's something like that. We take this face and we move it. over like that ok 
Okay. So with this one, we can immediately see that there's going to be some stuff happening here. Um, but I'll show you why we're not going to touch that right now. So that's basically the beginning of our couch. I mean, we don't need to do anything further than this because this will just be duplicated, that will be duplicated. Um, this piece here, we kind of need to add it here right now, which we're going to do. Um, here we need to select these faces. I don't know why it's not matching up here anymore, but anyway. Just kind of match it up. Okay, now we can take this piece, duplicate it, set the origin to the geometry. That way I can snap it and get that in the center there, as you can see. Now we can rotate it and what's the direction 90. And there we go. Now we can try and snap it to get this center here, which worked out perfectly. And we can dissolve. So we got auto merge on, don't want it. We can dissolve this edge. Hopefully I deleted it. Dissolve edge, sorry. Dissolve edge. We can take this face. And just snap it back here. It's happening. So something like that. Let me take this face. We we'll make sure it's kind of lining up here. Okay. And finally, um, we want to bring this um, block over and some more to kind of make this corner here. So there we go. And that obviously. Um, um, actually an idiot, I don't know why I did that, we don't need to do any changes to this part, actually I want this face here to be lining up there, something like that, and then we just take this piece and snap it there, and drop it there. That's better. Now we've got our corner piece there. Okay, so we might make some changes, I don't know. But for now, that's fine, and we've got our base block out. We know we're going to duplicate that and that and put it there. So we might as well do that quickly. So um, Shift D, our rotation is going to be crazy here, but anyway, rotate. Minus 19, no, 90. Okay. So let's see where we landed here. We want this more or less centered like that. And to come all the way back here. Okay. So we can even do this with more precision here. We really have to, but there we go. We've got that. Um, it's not completely the right way. Okay. Um, but anyway, let's look at it from this angle. And rotate. Oh crap, 180. Should have done that first. So I'm sorry if this is very annoying for you guys. Super close. And there we go. So there we go. We've got our pillows and our sides and everything how they need to be. Now it would be a good time to save. So let's save. So, 
say in the talk. Okay. So within 20 minutes, we've got our block block out done. Uh, it is it is complete. Um, and yeah, we will proceed to the next piece. Just yeah, sorry. There's something wrong here. We're gonna control V and remove doubles. Nothing removed. What's happening here? Turn to face selection. It's like there's no face there. What's happening? Words. I don't understand. Okay, so we don't have a face there. Need to fix that, but it's there. And now I need to figure out where you're coming from. Okay, so we did a double duplicate there at a moment. So let's delete that and we're going to edit mode. Just bring this guy back to base. Okay, let's save. Okay, so in the next part, we're going to use the subdivision surface and we're going to add it onto our objects needed. And we're going to go ahead and split objects apart so we can get our scenes and um, guides to where we're going to add and things like that um, and these scenes here etc 